Hackney. Et son adversaire, Québec, à 304 livres, from Drummondville, province of Quebec, weighing 304 pounds, Serge Dumont. And Eddie Creechman. Well, I don't know what kind of glasses Eddie Creechman's wearing. I guess it's for the protection of his eyes because uh, a lot of rest. So there we see McNay asking. And the second judo chop applied by the champion while Eddie the Boss Creechman is watching in. And now Dumont gave a solid kick to McNay on the chest and not fighting back. But says Dumont, the champion, just overpowers him. But McNay is still fighting back. A lot of courage, this boy, and he's determined. Now the champion throws McNay into the ropes and receives him with a solid kick. Now Dumont picks up McNay by the hair and applies a tremendous judo chop to the throat. Once more, the champion lifts McNay up by the hair and this time applies a punch to the forehead and then a judo chop and a kick to the chest. I don't know who'll be able to beat this tremendous mountain Serge Dumont, but he's powerful, there's no doubt about it. And all he's had since the beginning of his career with the superstars of the mat have been victories over victories. And he's now being the uh, television camera action in the ring and while the champion is hammering away at McKay's head and Dumo covers him for the count of two and as the referee counted two he just lifted him by the hair and now gave him a tremendous smash to the left side of the face and the count of two once more and again the champion raises McKay by the hair and now applies a headlock flips him over and comes down with that big foot on the face and it's one two and again, the champion raises him by the hair after getting good coaching from Mr. Creechman from outside the ring. And now Dumont, very persistent, continuing to hammer away at McNay, and now receives him with a punch off those ropes and covers him. One, two, three.